Rick, I was wondering if you wanted to duel. No, I don't. I've got better shit to do than beat you again at Yu-Gi-Oh. Come on, Rick, this time I have a deck you have never played against before. Morty, I'm a fucking genius. It doesn't matter what deck you use, I will still beat you. Not this deck, I have made a Harry Potter deck. Harry Potter, seriously, Harry Potter is for sissies. No, it's not. If you're so sure you can beat a Harry Potter deck, then prove it. Fine, I use my Lord of the Rings deck. I'll show you what real fantasy is all about. Let's duel. I'll start. I activate Fellowship of the Ring. This lets me special summon any one of the nine heroes from the Fellowship from my deck that are level six or lower. I choose Aragorn. I'm Aragorn. When Aragorn is special summoned, his special ability activates, which allows me to special summon Legolas from my hand. Legolas of the Woodland Realm. Aragorn. I set the cards face down and end my turn. Okay, my turn. I activate the magic card double summon. Now I summon Ron Weasley in attack mode. Next, I will summon Harry Potter in attack mode. I really don't get the hype around this guy. You're just a hater, Rick. Harry is awesome. No, Morty. Awesome is a warrior with a big fucking sword that kills orcs. Not some little bitch in glasses waving a wand. I activate the magic card in Chelly Armas. If I have a spellcaster on my side of the field, I can select one monster on your side of the field and disarm it, reducing its attack power to zero. I will use it on Aragorn. Hey, Spelly off. Now I will use Harry Potter to attack Aragorn. Stupefy. That's almost half your life points gone already, Rick. By destroying Aragorn in battle, you activated his effect. Now I get to the magic card Return of the King from my deck to my hand. I set two cards face down and end my turn. This is Undercity. A city that never sleeps. A city full of crime, where trouble can be just around the corner. Luckily for me, I always have the extra edge, because I drink gamer soaps. Hey, you! Hand over everything you've got or you're dead. Not today, buddy. Looks like we're doing this the hard way. Like I said, I drink gamer subs. This energy drink formula gets you amped up. It has no sugar, no calories, great taste, and is cheaper than regular energy drinks. What's not to love? And you can head on over to gamersubs.gg and try out some free samples. Just use my code FABERSOL to get 10% off all products in the Gamersub store. Energy formulas, shaker cups, sus snacks, and some awesome merch. My move? Activate the magic card, Return of the King. This lets me special summon Aragorn back from the graveyard. I summon Rider of Rohan in attack mode. Time for payback. I use Aragorn to attack Harry Potter. You have triggered my trap card, this apparate. What the fuck? Thanks to my trap card, Harry teleported out of battle. He's removed from play until the end of this turn and your attack was negated. Legolas, attack Ron Weasley. Send this pathetic excuse for a sidekick to the graveyard. Now I use my Rider of Rohan to attack you directly. I play my trap card, Call of the Half-Blood Prince. When I am attacked and have no monsters on the field, I can special summon Snape from my deck. This becomes a new target for your attack. Thanks, See, I told you my Harry Potter deck was good. Whatever. I activate Hobbit Second Breakfast. This increases my life points by 1,000. I set one card face down and end my turn. My turn and I activate card of sanctity. Now we both draw until we hold six cards. Now I activate the magic card of Etiquette Abra. If I have a spellcaster on my side of the field, I can discard one card and select one monster you control and destroy it. I choose Legolas. You have triggered my trap card, the light of Gandalf. This protects Legolas from the effect of your magic card. If 
you recall, I just discarded a card to the graveyard. I will now activate Monster Reborn a special summon double door from the graveyard. Time to battle! I will use Dumbledore to attack like a list. I activate my trap card and shall not pass. Thanks to your card of sanctity, I can play this trap. It lets me special summon Gandalf from my hand, then negates your attack and ends the battle phase. Set one card face down and end my turn. Perfect. I've been waiting for this. You played Will Morty, but I am about to end this duel. I activate the ritual magic card. The eyes are on. Why paying half of my life points and sacrificing all three of my monsters? I can special summon Sauron in attack mode. Now you Sauron attack Dumbledore. I activate my trap card. Fruit Tango Maximum. This negates your attack and ends the battle phase. You got away this time, but there is no card in your deck that can defeat Sauron. You're wrong, Rick. Just watch. I set one card face down and end my turn. Fuck yeah, just what I needed. You underestimated me, Rick. I will sacrifice all three of my monsters to summon the Dark Lord Voldemort. Next, I'll activate the Equip Magic card, Elder Wand. This increases Voldemort's attack power by 1,000. Now I'll use Voldemort to destroy Zoran. I activate my Continuous Trap card. The One Ring? This increases Zoran's attack power by 1500. Also, Zoran has a special ability. When he destroys a monster in battle, you take damage to your life points equal to that monster's attack points. Damn it! I was gonna win this duel. There is no way I was going to let you beat my Lord of the Rings deck. Thanks to Gamer Subs for sponsoring today's video.